Good morning everybody. I'd like to have a look at a computer program, a finished application, the end result that we are aiming at. So normally you'd be given a problem description in programming, then you do proper planning, thereafter you write the program and then you test the program to make sure that it's working. I'm going to jump a few steps. I'm going to go straight from the problem description to the finished program. And I'm going to explain how it looks, what it does, so that we know what we are aiming at. Okay, so let's say the problem description says a dog ages by seven years for every human year on average. That's given. That's given to us. That's the international standard that is used. So we are asked to code an application that accepts the age of the dog and calculate and display the equivalent human age. What does that mean? Our dog, that's maybe 10 years old, we might think it would run and jump and walk and talk like it did a few years ago, but it can't. That dog is the same as a 70 year old person. So he can't run and jump and talk and walk as he did a few years ago. Um, my program will thus calculate how old in human years a dog would be. So, if we can have a look at the finished program, it might do the following. So let's say the dog is two years old. I click on a button and it shows the equivalent human age 14. I say I want to enter new input. Let's maybe go for 10 years. And again, the program shows the equivalent human age. Okay, so this program consists of quite a few different things. Let me explain the basics. First of all, we've got a title bar. This is given to us automatically when we code a Windows application. So the title bar is just used to describe the program, the application. A Windows application automatically gets a minimize, a maximize and a close button. So I can minimize, I can maximize and I can close the program. I'm not going to close it right now. Anything else is optional. I will, during design, drag and drop components onto the screen. So currently I've dragged and dropped a description, well actually two descriptions, one for the dog age, one for the equivalent human age. If we have a look at the problem description again, then the program must accept the age of a dog and it's going to display the equivalent human age. So my input would be the age of a dog and the output would be the equivalent, equivalent human age. So, it works like this. Wherever I need input in my program, I'm going to give a block where the user can type in things. Obviously not that much, but let's go for seven. Wherever I need results, I give a different block to the user, one where I can't type. It's only the result that is displayed in this block. Now every one of those blocks have got a specific name. This is a text box. Text box and VB. So using the text box the user can give me the input. The things that I need. How will the user know what things to need? Well this description over here tells him what to enter in the text box. So the description says, go give me the dog age. And that's exactly what the user they need to do. Seven is the age of the dog. I've got another description next, next to the block where the output results are displayed. So again, a description is needed. If I clear, those descriptions stay on the screen. It's only the content of the two boxes that gets deleted. So, for every input thing that I need, input value, I will give the user a, what we call text box, 
So this is used for the user to type results. For every output result that my program must display, I'm going to use what is called a label. This label has got a border around it so that the user can easily see the result. I also use labels for a second purpose and that's to describe the input and the output fields. So I've placed two labels onto the screen, one next to the input box and one next to the, you can call it output box, next to the result box for the label. So there's one, two, three, four things onto the screen over here. I also provided the user with three buttons. These things are called buttons and they're used for user actions. So the real programming will take place as soon as the user click on a button. So the user will fill in some data, click on a button and the program will run through the steps of the calculate equivalent age button. That will declare the variables, get the input that is needed, in this case the dog age, it will do the calculation to calculate the human age, that's the dog age times 7, and then it would display the result, the equivalent age, in the label. So this is where the real programming takes place, behind the scenes where we give the instructions of the calculate button. We're also going to provide the clear and the close buttons with instructions, but those instructions are much simpler and we don't really need to do any planning for them. The planning for the calculate button is really important, otherwise I might miss a step. I won't do all of them and the program won't give me the right results. I can just show you one extra thing. End of the semester you're going to learn how to do error handling. So if the user's finger slipped and they type in 4R instead of 4 and we calculate, the computer can't calculate if it's not a number that's entered. So in this case we're displaying an error message to the user. We're not doing that in the initial programs, only a little while from now, once you are able to do the basics in programming. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. This shows you then the end product. In programming logic we're not really going to write programs, but I'd like you to see how the end product looks and works. Thank you.